Now this is probably the most asked about unit because this one, oh, uh, this one we can buy, we can make ourselves. And it's pretty simple. Let me just zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> so we've got a Super Strut or Uni Strut from Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay. So this one was made with angle back in the day, angle iron. Um, so we could use Super Strut there as our triangle across and forward and back and a piece down. It's about 24, 25 bucks for a 10 foot length. This whole thing cost about $200 to make for eight panels in series. So all the panels are in series linked around there. So what I did was we took a piece of uni strut or super strut, cut it or you can buy lengths that are feet or two feet long at a, at a massive price. Um, get the nuts, the uh, sliding nuts that go with it. And then we bolt, uh, let me see if I can get in there. This little channel is bolted on over here and I'm actually sharing that same channel with two panels on this particular instance. And um, so these, this, this whole panel system is on this frame and we hit spikes into the ground. The, the, the ground is frozen at the moment. I have some more spikes I want to hit in there and tie them onto these posts because when, when the spring winds come, it's pretty wild. Um, so this whole thing pivots. So what we need to do is to make this, loosen this up, we just take those bolts out there and you'll notice that this cross member sits on this frame that supports all the solar panels. And when that tilts, over there, we tilt the panels for the, our two different angles. This is just an exhaust bracket that uh, is a swivel for the for the Unistrat. Uh, you can get that at the hardware store. It doesn't have to be an exhaust one. You can get a galvanized one at the hardware store. I've just uh, joined together over there. And here I've got two pieces of strut, one for each side of the panel. Um, <clears throat> And pretty simple, if you have a look, just see how it's made. It's just your triangle and your cross piece that goes along, so I'm out of breath having to bend down and uh, talking too much. And, um, and so this whole thing is just twist over here. So what if we might or might not do it, we just have to loosen these bolts twice a year. We made some holes for summer and winter. Let me just show you here. And uh, that's it. We've got to change them in all those locations at the back there. Um, pretty simple. So as far as costs go, this is about $250 of material with the Unistrat. So these are eight panels in series. Eight times four is 32. Uh, so these are 3.2 kilowatts just on this array and it cost us 250 bucks to make this frame. That's a commercial frame over there. Uh, it's about three to four hundred dollars for that uh, frame that holds four panels that we jimmy to make it uh, six panels and then the extra work involved which I'll probably do with the other one too is put concrete pillars down uh, sono tube it wasn't too much money mixing a bit of concrete in there and letting it set for a few days and then uh, putting the wall anchors in but I think that looks pretty slick so Unistrat is my favorite. My all-time favorite for winter is panels on the wall. There was no snow on them. I didn't have to clean them at all. And uh, they gave me s s uh, power when all the others failed with snow covering them. So mix your panels. Maybe some on the wall, somewhere on a rack mount. But uh, if you live in a no snow area, who cares? There's a few things while making this video I realized I didn't show. So these are just RV jacks, uh, not the not the A-frame or the scissor type. These are just the, uh, these go flat down and they lift up. And uh, these bolts over here are slightly loose just to allow for everything to bend. I mean, you, you you're twisting this whole bracket up at a radius, so something's going to have to twist. Uh, well, not twist, but... Um, so I used um, concrete anchors there to tie those in. I ended up moving, sliding this whole rack forward, in other words, up this direction, because before when this was slid out there, the panels were hitting the ground. So I had to slide all the panels back on this frame, loosen the bolts underneath there, slide this frame back, 
and uh, to make it tilt these also bolts are slightly loose so that it can it can radius on here and this one as well uh, I mean it's withstood a few windstorms already and it's done well this is what the brackets look like they'd mount the panels on the end and you can find these online eBay Amazon etc uh, there then these are the center mounting brackets I just got one pair or one per pair of panels and uh, because these bolts that came with it were too long for some reason I had to screw them down make a mark on the aluminum then drill a hole through the aluminum at the back so that the bolt can go through and tighten down and um, <clears throat> what else is there I mean so far it's withstood a few windstorms and uh, it's doing well all six panels are in series these are 395 watt bifacial panels which means if I look from the back I can see there's a way for the light to shine through the back and if it's shining off the ground I'm supposed to get another 15 uh, watts or so coming from the back so 395 is supposed to be uh, nearly 410 watts of panel if there's light coming from the back and then um, to lower and raise the panels you know depending how OCD you are you can do it twice a year you know in the in the spring and the fall um, and just get them up there but this is pretty easy you just got to do a few feet at a time I do a couple of turns there a couple of turns here and uh, maybe I'll show you what it looks like with it down these are the bolts we're going to be using to uh, mount our solar panels to the um, bracket I went for these rather instead of the expanding bolts which they call roll bolts um, the anchors which those expand and we our little pillars might be too uh, skinny for all that pressure coming from within so we're going to use these plastic ones then then the right size drill bit and uh, we're going to mount that before the snow comes It's green. Goes all the way down. This concrete's a little bit green, so it's been about a week and a bit now already. But there's a little bit of mud at the bottom. So I just make sure that's all the way down. In the front, we're just seeing, to, looking to see how it's going to work. When those jacks come up, very good. Okay, let's try it out. You just jack them up a little bit at a time so that they're even and that looks freaking awesome wow our uh, homemade um, panel tilter so we used unistrat to bolt onto the bottom of the jack and then we slid that in right, so what we had to do was move the panels up to that pivot point there because they were touching the snow earlier that's where the jacks straight up well, mine's at the backs further, but you just got to do a little bit at a time. We used a ratchet as tool as well, but that is beautiful. Look at that ankle of the sun.